month ago, iBuy Power and Asus reached out to me asking me if I would like to come out to LA with them to build a powered by Asus PC in the new Revolt 3 case. And of course, I said yes. So please come with me on this trip to LA. I can't wait to show you what we got up to. The next day, I buy power picked us up to give us a tour of their headquarters, and they were kind enough to let us film the majority of it for you. We got to take a look at their incredible awards case, this is only a small portion of them. And then we took a walk into their offices to meet their marketing team. After interrupting a very spirited discussion about keyboards, we walked onto the warehouse floor where they first up showed me the testing benches. It felt like these went on for days, but it didn't stop there. Next up were the building benches where people were putting together the builds before they shipped them out. After that, they took me to the part of their warehouse where they stored packaged orders waiting for shipment before they took me up to the streaming room to finally build my PC. Here we are. This is the Revolt 3 in the limited edition flight case. They gave me a white unit to build with, and I think it looks gorgeous. Because this case is meant to be super portable, it comes with this amazing handle as well as these very handy headphone holders. All of the side panels popped out super easily, and you can even change out the color of the front mesh. So I chose to swap it out for the copper color. Once we had pulled off all of the panels, it was time to get building. Asus provided us with a Z950 iMini ITX motherboard as well as an RTX 3080. It was two sticks of 8GB DDR4 RAM, 11th gen Intel i7, iBuyPower fans, and an iBuyPower cooling system. And of course, a 1TB SSD. Then we got to begin our build. First off, we started with putting our Intel CPU into our Asus motherboard. Once we had it all firmly together, we snapped in our RGB RAM, and we got ready to install our SSD. After removing the film, we slotted it together, and then screwed in our SSD. After putting back together all of our various shields, we then turned to the case to begin prepping it for our installation of the parts. After peeling the film off of the IO shield, we were ready to go. This is one of the easiest parts of the build. All we had to do was slot it into the case and then screw it together. Afterward, we installed the fans to the radiator and installed the cooler. And the radiator as well. Next, we had to close up the case to get ready for the GPU, which we slotted in very carefully, screwed in, and then finished plugging everything else in. After turning it on and making sure everything worked, our build was finished. The next morning, I by Power wanted us to see the sights of LA, so we went up to Griffith Observatory to take in the view, and because I'm a giant space nerd. everything we could at Griffith Observatory, we headed out for some KBBQ. And then headed home. For the meet, we are running super late, but we're gonna run there right now. I can't wait to meet you guys. I'm so, I'm so excited. So I hope we see some of you there. Um, and yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs>